Hi everyone, welcome to Table for Two. I am the Elusive Bigfoot, and today we are unboxing Apollo, a game inspired by NASA Moon Missions. This is by Buffalo Games and Puzzles. So let's take a look. Uh, so the first thing is the color choice in the art is just beautiful, very 1960s and 70s style. The box is okay, it's not the greatest quality, but it's good. I do like also the UV coating that's, or spot coating that's on there. Um, great image, a one giant leap for mankind, that footprint that is so famous. And on the other side, this looks like this might be the round tracker. So this is a game for two to five players where you get one person or one team that will be mission control and the other person or team that will be the Apollo astronauts. So we've got our book here. Um, Pretty standard, list the components, so I appreciate when people say what everything is, because that way when you put it together, it makes it a little easier. It looks like there's different missions in here. So we'll find out how to play this. It's got different kinds of phases. There's a roll phase, action, and then um, the mission control actions. Oh, this is interesting. So it splits it up so you know if you're playing as the astronauts or the mission control. And then it looks like there's ways of, um, creating a variability in and adjusting your game difficulty. And there's a page that I can't quite, maybe there's not an extra page, oh, there is. System crisis, that's interesting. Rules for solving a crisis puzzle. Okay, cool. And then this one, let's see. This opens up, I think the way that this creates is that you have a board and then whoever's mission control is on this side of it. And it's kind of cool because if you can tell, it's like you're sitting at mission control and this is your coffee cup and your books and your pen and what you can see. So I like that. And then your flight crew's on the other side. In a way, this kind of reminds me from what I understand um, of just playing those games where you're giving instructions to the other player and they can only understand so much. Crisis puzzles, I guess we'll find out more about that. Flight control complete, flight stacks. I believe that this is your mission control board. You will slide your items back and forth. And you'll place your pieces out there. What do we have here? This is interesting. So I guess this is making it from Earth to the moon on here. And this is how we'll be playing in the stages that um, as we move along the track. It's a, quite a long board, it's kind of interesting. What do we have here? This is something that opens up. So there's nothing on the back, but on this side, I guess if you're the astronaut, this is your board that you play with. And then you put your, your stuff out there. What do we have here? We have our cardboard tokens. These break out pretty easy, I like that. And then we have com tokens as well. Okay, and some instructions here. Transfer damaged from a roll, any color die, plus one to any system, add one die to one roll. We have remove each of the two pawns from this board and place each into a plastic stand to use in the game. So that's referring to this part. And then here are crisis puzzle pieces. So maybe we need to make the wires talk to each other. I'm not really sure. What is this? This is, oh, this is a poster. This is nice. Humanity's return to the moon, this time to stay 2024. I like that this is really referencing NASA. So this is cool. Another player board. Communication stages, maybe. This is fun. This is like the um, the old NASA food packs, but this looks like these are the um, the instructions or some of the puzzle pieces that we'll be needing to play the game. And it's sealed, so I don't want to do a spoiler. So I'm not going to open these up. Yes, I will. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Um, so it's I, I just different stages and different things to, to collect and experiments to do. This reminds me of the Jaws game where you have one person who's the shark and the other 
person or team who is the um, the crew. So you have different objectives and goals, but I believe this is a co-op game because clearly Mission Control wants the astronauts to be successful. The cards are pretty good, good quality. I like that. We got your dice. These kind of remind me of the dice from Fuse. Actually, they're heavy. It's a good quality dice. You got black, you have yellow. What do we have here? Turn token. Oh, that's nice. So you can pass that back and forth and throw it at each other. What else do we have here? Player pieces. These are wood. It's kind of interesting. So the sticker is offset here. I don't know if you can see that. Not thrilled with that one. Maybe I'll fix that. It seems like it's the only one that's offset. That's just going to bug me because that's going to catch on things. So, And then there's the stands that they referenced earlier for those tokens that you just stick that in there. So the quality is, is kind of there. It's just a little carelessness here and there that I don't, you know, I don't like. What are these? Oh, remember how I mentioned it looked like something that you slide back and forth? This might be it. The items that you're sliding back and forth. So maybe you're flipping buttons or something. And this is probably the thing that you're sliding on that board. All right, coolness. So that is Apollo, a game inspired by NASA Moon Missions. I look forward to playing that and letting you guys know what we think. Thanks so much. Bye.